गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन इट्स चंद्रकला हियर आई होप यू ऑल आर एट होम एंड सेफ बट अलॉन्ग विद दैट यू आर ऑल्सो गेटिंग बोर बट बोर्ड क्लास स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट अलाउड टू गेट बोर सो इट्स बैटर लेट्स लर्न समथिंग सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ अवर बुक फिजिक्स दैट इज वर्क एनर्जी एंड पावर एंड इट्स यूनिट्स एंड मेजरमेंट दैट ऑल्सो वी विल डिस्कस सो our first topic is actually work but before saying something about work we have to revise some concepts related with force we know that the simplest definition of force is any push or pull is known as force and we have also studied the effects of force in the body basically force can change the state of a body that means if the body is at rest it can take it into motion that means if the body is at rest stationary if we will apply force sufficient force then it can start moving that is the body can uh, can change its state of motion from rest to body uh, motion and similarly it can also change its state from motion to rest that means if the body is already moving and if we will apply a force in opposite direction to its motion it will come to rest it can also change shape and size of the body it depends on whether the body is rigid body or non rigid body and next thing it can also change velocity of object or body that means it can accelerates or decelerates a body it can increase the speed of the body or it can decrease the speed of the body along with that we have also learned that actually force is a vector quantity and its si unit is newton which is written by capital n these are the basic things about force which we have already learnt in our previous classes here for defining work we will need these concepts so now we will talk about work before that we will revise two more terms first one is scalar quantity and vector quantity in physics we always study about physical quantities so we know that scalar quantities are those quantities which have only magnitude which does not have direction but vector quantities are those quantities which have magnitude as well as direction that means for example here you see scalar quantity which has only magnitude many examples we have studied you can take any one for example time you can talk about distance you can talk about speed and a lot of things similarly we know the vector quantities and example force or torque and here we are discussing about force so we are saying that force is a vector quantity that means we are saying that force will have a magnitude as well as a direction okay now we will start our actual topic that is work actually force will be always needed if we have to do work force will be always needed see in our daily life if we are sitting and reading that is work if we are sitting and eating that is also work if we are sitting and watching movie that is also work but actually physics according to physics it's not work that means in physics if there is a body and if we will apply force on the body if we will apply a force on the body because of this force suppose initially the body was at rest so because of this force if the body has displaced by some distance that means because of this applied force the body has gain some displacement in this condition work has been done that means according to physics work done w is equal to amount of force into displacement this is the formula for work done 
so if there is a body and if you have applied some force on it and if the body has shown some displacement that means work has been done but suppose there is a heavy body on which you have applied force but force was not sufficient and there was no displacement in this condition according to physics no work has been done that means in this condition the work done is equal to zero and why that you can clearly understand from here you see work done is equal to product of force and displacement so if any of these quantities will be zero then the work done will be zero but here force cannot be zero because if you are talking about work done that means you are applying the force so force cannot be zero but even after applying the force the body is not moving it is still at rest initially it was at rest and now also it is at rest in this condition work done is zero because this s is zero so f into zero is equal to zero so from here what we conclude is work is a quantity which is actually the product of force and the displacement but there must be some displacement in that condition only work is said to be done so what does it mean that here in physics for work done result matters that means there should be some displacement okay then now i will give you one example and you will write the answer okay so we have two students this is student one this is student two that means first student second student okay one student is studying four hours every day at home that means he is in room for four hours telling his parents that he was studying in the room second student he is also saying to the parents that i'm going to learn something and you will not disturb me so he was in the room for six hours all right when the results were declared this student got 98 percentage and when the result was declared at the same time this student has got zero percent okay so this is your question or your assignment is actually if somebody ask me and you which student is doing work then i and you we both will say both the students are doing work even the second student is doing work more than first student but you have not to write answer according to you and me you have to write down answer according to physics so you find out and write down the correct answer here what student is doing work and what student is not doing work but remember according to physics not according to our logics right okay so this you will do and when you will find answer for this question then you will understand this that even if you are doing efforts don't know you are in a room that means students are in the room so if you are doing the efforts if you are applying the force even though if there is no displacement then there will be no work done that means there are no results and if you are applying the force and if there is some displacement work has been done according to physics okay now we have learned definition of work done now we have to see one more thing that is work is a scalar quantity and you know what is scalar that means work will have only magnitude it will not have direction so that means the work is actually only a scalar quantity now you see work done was equal to force into displacement if you remember force is a vector quantity and displacement is also a vector quantity still the product of both these is a scalar quantity that means what the dot product of two vector quantities is a scalar quantity
okay that means force is a vector quantity and displacement is also a vector quantity but dot product of any two quantities is a scalar quantity that's why work is a scalar quantity it will have only magnitude it will not have direction okay this is the definition for the work done now next thing factors on which the work done depends so basically we know from formula there are two factors on which the amount of work done depends first one is force and second one is displacement so work done depends on two things one is force and one is displacement if you will change any one of these factors then the displacement will be changed sorry the amount of work done will be changed let's see you see we will take two examples first example first case our first case is you see there was a body or any object and you have applied some force on this body let it be f1 and similarly there was another body and you have applied the force on it F2 that means the bodies are having same masses and weight only the amount of force applied on it is different okay here you have applied F1 force here you have applied F2 force because of your force if there will be no displacement that means the body has not moved in that condition automatically the work done will be zero but if there is some displacement suppose here the displacement is S1 due to this force and suppose it is 2 meter and here also the displacement is 2 meter okay that means if you have applied force and here you have got displacement 2 meter and here also you have got displacement 2 meter but the problem is the amount of forces are different suppose here you have applied force equal to 50 newton and here you have applied force is equal to 20 newton okay now we know that let here the work done is W1 and here the work done is W2. Let's calculate it. Here W1 is equal to F1 S1 and equal to F1 is 50 Newton. Okay. And uh, S1 is 2. So actually it is 100 and units right now I am writing derived units. Later we will discuss the unit of the work done. That is from here it is Newton and here it is meter similarly let's calculate w2 that is w2 is equal to f2 into s2 and that is f2 is 20 and s2 is 2 that means it is 40 newton into meter now you can clearly see the difference and you see displacements in both the conditions are same that means why this work done is different because of the amount of force that means our work done depends on amount of force applied on the body similarly if we will see second case same way there were two bodies and we applied force on both the bodies this time the amount of force applied was was same that is suppose it is f1 it is f2 if F1 is 50 Newton, then F2 is also 50 Newton. That means you are applying same amount of force on both the bodies. But this time the displacement is different. You see here the displacement is only 2 meter and here the displacement is 5 meter. Now obviously again we will calculate both the work done. Here it is W1 and here it is W2. So W1 is equal to f1 into s1 is equal to what is this 50 into 2 that is equal to 100 again derived units that is newton into meter and here also w2 is equal to f2 into s2 that is 50 into 5 that is equal to 250 newton meter this time you see this time the amount of force applied is same but still the values for work done are different why the reason is because this time the displacement has been changed so 
what is the conclusion that the amount of work done depends on two factors one is the force applied and another one is the displacement if you will change any of these factors then the amount of work done will be changed that's why if the displacement is zero then f into zero the amount of work done will be equal to zero these are the basic things about the work done now actually along with these two things you see there is one concept which we have studied in class 9th if this is the body and if you are applying force on this body is it necessary that the body will move in a straight line motion only that means only in a straight line it's not possible if you are applying force on a body it can move in any direction any possible direction that depends how you are applying the force how you at that means your point of application of force the point where you are applying the force accordingly it can move in a straight line it can move in at any particular incline angles also and this is the factor since force is a vector quantity so direction matters here that means there will be direction so suppose you have applied force but the body did not move in a straight line instead of that you have applied force instead of this straight line motion the body started moving in any another direction let at an angle theta from the horizontal where it is supposed to move from here instead of this straight line it has moved to an inclined plane that is at angle theta so both the quantities are vector quantities so along with this f and s we will have to include the direction also that is in which direction the displacement is taking place so the actual formula for work done is actually f s cos theta and if you know some basic rules about vectors then you know that dot product of any two quantities is fs cos theta that means quantities into cos theta for example if you have two quantities a and b and if you have to find out its dot product then automatically it will be ab cos theta similarly here the amount of work done is equal to force into displacement into cos theta that means now we have three factors along with force and displacement it also depends on theta that means in which direction body is moving now our next topic is we have to derive this formula mathematically for work done this we will do in our next class till then you will revise your syllabus you will make its notes and you will write down answer for this question that whether both the students were really studying in the room this you will answer according to physics rest of the things we will see in the next class thank you